Hi guys and welcome to today's video where I'm going to take you through a paragraph that I've written for the text nine days. And so I'm going to take you through it line by line and you can see a, a full copy of the paragraph up in the description. I'll put that up there. And I'm also going to be linking to some of the other videos that we've put together for nine days. I think we've got three or four others that are there where we go through some quotes, some ways of thinking about it and so on. So if you haven't been through the rest of our channel, once you're done watching today's video, take a look at the others uh, because the great thing about our videos is that you are more than welcome to put questions and everything there in the comments and you'll see that students have done that before and I'll be on there to uh, respond to them uh, as quickly as I can to be able to help you out with your VCE journey. Today's a paragraph uh, is one that I think you'll get an awful lot out of so I'm going to jump into it straight away. Jordan depicts family connection and the understanding of the importance of family as a learning process that some characters have more success with than others. And so you'll see here with the topic sentence that it's not just merely saying, okay, here's some evidence that's going to help me answer a, que uh, answer a question, but it's not just outlining a theme or an idea either, but rather talking about family connection and the importance of family, but putting that extra twist to it with the thinking that it's a process, that it's a learning process, and that some people have more success with it than others. So when we're trying to get beyond just a basic text response essay, we need to be able to have paragraphs that aren't just saying this book is about family and about the importance of family. If we want to do really well, we need to be adding an extra dimension to that. And that comes through here with this idea that the importance of family is something that people come to learn, that they come to appreciate. Uh, and also that some characters have more success with it than others. So sometimes when your teacher is telling you, you know, I need you to show me more thought or more insight, and you're thinking, well, how on earth do I do that? You know, I can't just click my fingers. This is a really good example of seeing how, okay, we've got the idea, but then we twist the idea. We do more with it. We talk about how it's a process and how some people have more success with it than others. So if you're doing that with all of your, your themes and your, and your ideas that you're working with in your classwork, if you're thinking about you know, what the author might be saying and going further with them, that's where you're going to get to deeper thought and a much more analytical paragraph and essay. The individual within a family is seen to endure the hardships and responsibilities that being a part of a family brings with it. However, Jordan also outlines that family bonds can give further depth and meaning to one's existence, and that such a bond is what is most important in one's life. Now, if you've watched any of my other videos, you'll know that I absolutely love the word however, because it shows the person reading your essay that, okay, I can think about it this way. However, it can also be seen in this way. So you're not just having this black and white understanding of the text. You're showing a range of interpretations throughout your paragraph. And it's a way of really showing that deeper insight again. You'll also notice that at this point, I haven't mentioned any of the characters directly. And one of the really great things about Nine Days is that it's almost like a set of short stories. Obviously, it's not. It's all within the same world and it's a novel. But because we have, you know, the experiences of these nine characters on their respective days, and then we have other minor characters, we can talk about the things that are common across all of them and speak about them generally before we really delve into the characters that show off the different dynamics of that idea. So if you take that into account when you're thinking about this text, it's going to open you up to really great thinking in terms of taking an idea like family and then thinking, all right, what does Kip tell us about family? What does Francis tell us about family? What about Connie? What about Stansy? What about Alec? Because all of those characters with these main ideas will say something slightly different than the other. And so if you can talk about them in your paragraphs and show that you understand those differences, it can give you a heck of a lot of content to go with and some really deep thought as well. Through her own personal evolution. So you can see that I'm going to jump into some, uh, into, into an evidence here, into talking about one of the characters. Stanzi is used by Jordan as a character who is able to find contentment and purpose through her family as she transforms from an unhappy and directionless counsellor to a socially active, optimistic parental figure for her niece and nephew. And so you'll notice here that I've used the word through, which again, if you've watched any of my other videos, I love the word through because it shows that understanding that you understand what Tony Jordan has done through her novel, through this character, through the inclusion of this, through that. 
It's that way of you showing that you understand that Tony Jordan was in charge of the whole thing. She was the puppet master in charge of all the characters and what they did and what they said. And therefore, they were the vehicles through which she got these ideas across. So you can use that type of language to ensure that you're being analytical and showing that understanding of what uh, Tony Jordan is saying. Uh, and so uh, it continues on. Stanzi speaks glowingly of her father, Kip, and the love he shows to her mother. Yet she is first portrayed as showing great amounts of cynicism, which Charlotte tells her prevents her from being happy. Stancy comes to an understanding that it's time I got moving, eventually changing her career and helping Charlotte raise Alec and Libby. So you'll notice there that all that's happened in those two or three sentences is that I've just layered on a whole bunch of quotes. I'm putting forward all of this evidence uh, there. Look what I now do with all of that evidence. I've put all that evidence down. Let's now see where I go with it in making sure that I squeeze all the analysis that I can out of it. Jordan outlines the importance of finding connection with loved ones through Stancy's moving back to the house on Rowena Parade and the role she plays in the lives of her sister and the children. That it is Alec who is able to expose to the reader the positive changes that Stancy has made further emphasises the importance of family connection and the role it plays in a character's sense of happiness. So all of those quotes that I mentioned before about, you know, it's time I got moving and that she's cynical and that it's her sister who points out that that's what keeps her from being happy is now coming out in this way where I'm talking about, well, you know, it's actually Charlotte's son who shows us that she actually did become this happier, more content person later on. So all of the evidence is now being explored in greater depth and has been analysed there. And sometimes that can just be something that can be pointed out to, to you that really helps you understand that anytime you're going to use a quote or anything like that, you need to resolve that quote by getting to an analysis of, okay, so what is Jordan saying through that quote? What is it that I can, that I can get to that shows my understanding of the text? Alec, who is mentioned only in the chapter that he narrates, also allows Jordan to demonstrate the importance of love between family as he comes to see the importance of delivering the photograph to his grandfather and just how special the memory of Connie is to Kip. Now, you'll notice how that sentence uh, starts, or sorry, midway through it, when it says Alec, who was mentioned, then it says also allows Jordan to. So again, just like with that word through, there's now this idea of Alec allows Jordan. So it's that idea of, you know, by including Alec, Jordan is able to do something. She is allowed to do something. So again, using that language that is showing an understanding of what the author has done, how they've put their text together, how they've structured their text, how they've constructed it, and what that allows them to say, that what the author is saying and how they've said it, that is at the basis of every successful text response essay. And it continues on. Alex's maturation in coming to appreciate the family that surrounds him is displayed through his terrifying realisation that he is now bigger than his mother physically. Thus, Another great word, another fantastic and a favorite one of mine. So it's this way of, if I'm looking at this paragraph as an assessor, I'm looking at it going, okay, it had this strong opening with the idea that it was about. It then talked generally about this idea. It's now moved into talking about Connie. It's brought up some evidence about Connie. It's then analyzed that evidence about Connie and what Jordan might be saying. It's now moved to a secondary character and talking about Alex. So it's showing a further dimension to this idea that we're looking at. And now we're getting to this idea of speaking about Alec and we get to thus. So I really want to get back to making a point. And if you're using the word thus correctly, it means that you've had something to say before and now you're saying thus, right, I've put all of it together. Thus, here we go and I'm going to make my point about all of it. Jordan celebrates those who come to see the importance of family and appreciate their role in raising them as people. Whilst family connection is at times depicted as a strain or an obligation, Jordan also exhibits the closeness of familial relationships and the happiness of those that are able to move towards cherishing such relationships. And so we have that ending there where we come back full circle to talk about, okay, this was the idea that we've been discussing about people who learn uh, to love, people who learn to appreciate, uh, but that people come to cherish these relationships and some people have much more success than others. And it comes full circle and finishes in that very strong and pertinent manner. 
Guys, that is the paragraph. Please ask away. I'd love to hear your questions, things that you perhaps didn't quite understand, things you'd like to add, things you'd like clarified. Uh, maybe you've even got some advice on some evidence that I've missed out on here in this paragraph that you think would work even better. This is an excerpt from our study guide that we've put together for nine days. And so if you want even more depth and detail, uh, there is another um, sample paragraph, a second one in that uh, study guide. Uh, there's also about 30 odd pages of ideas and things that we noticed and all sorts of really great content that's going to really deepen your knowledge. It's available on our website. I'll put a link to it in the description. If you really want that further depth that uh, comes across from our videos, it's all there in a written form and we think it's a fantastic study companion for you. So take a look for that. Uh, you can also check out the rest of our channel where we've got things on argument analysis, your comparative pair. We've got, you know, multiple other videos on nine days as well, which will pop up, I'm sure, pretty soon here. But until we see you next time, all the best with your studying. Ask lots of questions in the comments. Subscribe to the channel so that you can see all our future videos. And until we see you next time, good luck.